Okay, now let's discuss about understand account and contact relationships. We are going to discuss three key account and contact relationships. The first one is relationships between companies or accounts and the people who work at them. So basically, we want to associate one contact to multiple accounts. Okay, let's do it by example. So before we can associate one contact to multiple accounts, we need to enable the, the contact to multiple accounts. So to do that, go to your Salesforce playground and go to account settings account settings over here now we want to edit this account settings and allow users to relate a contact to multiple accounts and there's an important warning before enabling contacts to multiple accounts verify that mass transfer and reassign operations aren't running it's not currently running as this is a playground we should be fine with that i am going to save that so now one contact can have multiple accounts so in in progress it's enabling we're enabling contacts to multiple accounts for your org this process can take several hours we will send you an email when it's done oh so now it's well it's done it's not actually several hours because our playground is pretty blank blankety blank okay so that's enabled so now if i go to my um, sales app on the same trailhead playground i'm gonna head over to contacts all right now right now i have myself associated to zone.io this is a direct account okay so i am the founder of zone.io so my account would be zone.io but i also do uh, work for other organizations so if i click on jimmy tanzil here okay so before we can add relationships we want to add related accounts on this related tab on the contact page layout let's do that first i'm going to edit this particular page and i'm going to click the details here so that i can change the current page layout this one is popping up on a new tab and then i want to go to my related lists and i want to drag related accounts over here i'm going to drag this at the very top so we have related accounts okay so i'm going to hit save and yes so i can close this out now and this is also um done i'm going to hit back and leave okay so related uh, related accounts um i have a direct is checked right a direct related accounts with zone.io I'm going to add a relationship now. I also, for example, work with KCM Canada as what? Well, you can add these um, roles available, but for now, I am just going to um, add maybe as influencer. Okay. I'm going to hit save. So this is not a direct relationship okay my contact jimmy tanzil is not um, under kcm canada but i also work with this organization so i'm going to add another relationship for example i also do some work for world vision and i am a decision maker there and i'm going to hit save so now you can see that I one contact is now related to three accounts. One is a direct 
relationship. The other two is a non-direct relationship. Okay. So if I go to zone.io, which is my direct relationship, the related contact is just one, which is me. Okay. So let's move back. The second part is relationships between customers and other customers. So this is the account hierarchy shows uh, that what company for ex for this example get cloudy is affiliated with right perhaps get cloudy has a parent company that you've already done business with so for example zone.io so i'm gonna um relate um another if i go to zone.io here if I go to account, say for example, Zone India, okay? So I'm gonna go to details and I'm gonna have the parent account of Zone India is Zone.io, like that, and hit save. The same thing with Zone Europe, for example. If I go to accounts and I have Zone Europe office, and I'm going to also change the parent account of Zone Euro um, to Zone.io. Okay, and hit save. So now if I go here, accounts, we can see the account hierarchy. Account hierarchy. So how can we see the hierarchy? So to view an account hierarchy, Click the Accounts tab and select an account and then select View Hierarchy. Let's do that. So if I go back here, okay, select an account. For example, I'm going to select Zone.io here and I'm going to choose View Hierarchy. View Account Hierarchy, which is at the bottom here. So I'm going to click there. And then you can see this is the account we are currently viewing and there is Zone Europe and Zone India. And if I go for example from Zone India and I go do the same thing, account hierarchy. So you will see, oh, this is the account we are seeing. It has a parent company, which is Zone.io. So that's pretty much it. Let's move forward. Um, so best practices for establishing account hierarchy. Um, you have a global enterprise account or the location specific accounts. For this particular example, we have we have location specific example. Global enterprise means you just have Zone.io and you um you link everything, opportunities, activities just to the main enterprise or the main global account. So okay, uh, please read this through and. Next up is account teams. So account teams is um, how you can assign multiple users in your Salesforce organization to an account. For example, who will do marketing on that account, who will do support for that account, and so on and so forth, right? So for example, let's create a new account, but before we do that, let's activate account teams first. So if to activate account teams, go to your setup here and team, account teams. First, you have to enable it. Okay, so you have to enable account teams. Account teams enabled, save. And where do you want to add the page layout for this account teams? Let's add it to every page layout and add to users customized related list as well so here you can define the team roles um, you can replace the team roles to update and disable account teams so team roles here we can define and and you know there's account manager channel manager executive sponsor lead qualifier you can rename this however you like according to your um, organization structure and make new ones like new values, replace reorder and stuff like that, all right? So now how can you use this account teams? First, you have to go to your settings. So click on your icon there and then settings here. 
And then you can go to advanced user details. Over here, you have account teams, default account teams. So right now we do not have any default account team. You can add, so your default account team, I'm gonna crank this up a bit. Your default account team should include the users that normally work with you. Um, so we have a limitation because this is a playground. We only have one user, right? So the option is to automatically add my default account team to accounts that I create or accounts that are transferred to me. You can do it automatically and, and also update account teams with these members. Now, here is where you define what a person or a, a role can do. For example, you have a team member. This is just Jimmy and Jimmy, right? Say, for example, you have, if you have like one, two, three, five users. So you, you select one. The first one, every time you create an account, Jimmy will be what? What can I do? Read and write. And this is for the account and the opportunity. What can I do? Read and write, right? The cases, is it read only or read and, write, read and write? And then the team role, what will I get? Um, I will be the account manager. And then you define for John Doe, what will they have? Jane Doe, Bart Simpson, and Homer Simpson. What will they have? But now we don't have this kind of users. We just have one user. We can't choose any anybody else because this is a trailhead playground. So basically, you know what, what how to do that, right? So that's how you set it up. And then you just hit save. You can save and more there. I'm going to crank down this font. It's too big. Now, going back to our um, sales app. Now, if I create a new account, it will automatically assign that. Okay. So if I create a new account here, for example, make a new one. And I am going to change, uh, make a name Tesla Inc. Okay. And then we are just going to save Tesla and save. So now the account team is automatically added. Jimmy is the account manager of Tesla Inc. It's added automatically, right? So if you assign five users, who will be the support manager, who will be the um, sales manager and stuff like that, it will be added automatically. You can also add it manually by clicking this button, add team members, and you can choose who will, who will it be and what will their, row, uh, their access for account, for case and opportunity um, records, and the team role each user is going to be assigned. So that's how you assigned um, account teams. That's pretty much it. So that's basically it. And we will do the quiz together. What two types of account contact relationships can you see in, co in context to multiple accounts? Positive, negative, parent, sibling, direct and indirect. How do you set up the account hierarchy? Ask an admin while well, we are an admin. Add a parent account to the account's record. Yeah. Record the parent account's name in the note. No. Write it on a sticky note and stick it on your forehead. <laughs> who should be on your who should be on your personal default account team? Who? Co-workers from your department who want who want to know how you achieve all your success. All right, that's funny. All the contacts are um, no coworkers you usually work with on your accounts. That's obvious. Okay, that's pretty much it. We are done. Get the 100 point and I'll see you on the next section. Bada bing, bada woohoo! Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, 
watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.